Hello Magic players, welcome you to another episode of the Brewers Tavern. Hey Charles, good to have you here, episode number 20. Round welcome number everyone, two. this is great, great to be here. 20 episodes so far. Uh, yeah, and for number 20 we have something that we both think is very special, right? Yeah, as a, let's say, anniversary gift, we will bring you today Poison vs. Elephants. Yeah, so two decks that aren't really um, good enough that are ever going to see play. The elephants, um, I think they cost, what, a four mana? A three four or four mana. mana. They're like they're very slow, all of and them. the poison creatures cost three or four mana, yeah. and they're one ones or one twos. They're very slow. Um, but we thought this would be a good matchup to see how they do together. Exactly. So hopefully these are two, two different deck types that most people have never seen, and, and, and we're both very excited. I really hope that you like the deck you're seeing because the, these decks are so unusual. And as you said, the elephants are kind of slow and really there is not a drop you can play which is under four mana. Also the clone, <laughs> but I, I will tell you more about that in the in the deck picture. Um, when we move on to the deck picture, uh, we have over 60 subscribers yet, yet on YouTube uh, and uh, 200 views per video, something like that. So that is super nice. Thank you very much to all the, to all the viewers. Uh, yeah, let's move on to the deck picture. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. And let's switch the stream number nine. And here we go. This is my deck picture. Um, as you can see, a lot of elephants are going on here. Um, I have. As you said, only four drops. I have the War Elephant, the War Mammoth, and two clones to um, to start a beatdown plan, um, as well as four Elephant Graveyards to regenerate my elephants. And um, yeah, this is basically this is basically it. I, I try to play one card in the in the sideboard, which is super unusual. It's the I don't even know how to pronounce it. Nial Sylvain, is that right? You're probably better wow. with the. Uh, I don't even a, know what that card is. What does it do? Uh, it's from the dark. It's uh, three green, two two, and you can tap it for four mana to regenerate one creature. And I thought it's a nice addition to the uh, to the Navindral's disc which I play. So I basically have five elephant graveyards in the deck. I don't know if I can ever activate this card because four green in a three color deck is super 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 greedy. But yeah. Like, this is what I think is a cool, cool addition to the deck. So, um, yeah. This I'll, is I'll say one thing about your deck I love. I've never played against or played an elephant deck. And I love that we have these new cards we've not shown before. So, Elephant Graveyard, the two different elephants, sideboard card. Um, I mean, this is, this is a really cool deck. It is. And, and some new stuff. Um, there's one thing, uh, both of the elephants have trampled, but the war elephant from Arabian Nights also has bands. I'm not pretty familiar with the banding ability, uh, which is kind of a shame because I'm an old school player, but I never used it before. I know you can attack together and block together and you assign the damage and say how it is assigned. This is what I know about this ability. If I'm wrong, please let me know, because banning is one of the weirdest abilities in Magic history. Yeah, I've never used that before, so this strange. Yeah, it is. But let's move on to your deck picture and tell us a little bit about your deck. Okay, so um, a lot of thought and work, believe it or not, went into creating a poison deck. Uh, I spent a lot of time uh, working with uh, Greg from Old School MTG. And the idea is that you have these poison creatures, but how are they going to get through? Because they're small. Um, so we needed to make a deck where the creatures would be unblockable. And there's not that many ways to do it. Invincibility is a one of, um, you know, there is Dwarven Warrior, you know, it's a fragile creature. So yeah. this was the idea we came up with. Um, and there's a lot of new cards here. One is Thanos' Wand, which uh, for two mana, we can make a creature that's power two or less unblockable, except by artifact creatures. Um, the main idea is we're going to try to tap everything down with ICs 
We do have a Royal, which uh, is, a, is a classic combo to try to get rid of them, but um, we're going to use Meek Stone. So we're going to try to keep the big creatures um, tapped, and then hopefully that would make them kind of quote-unquote unblockable, and we can get in for some poison uh, counters. Um, the cool thing about this match is there's, I think, seven new cards that haven't appeared in an episode before. The uh, green poison creature, the black poison creature. I don't think either of us have had Royal Assassin. Exactly, um, yes. Winter Blast is a new card. There's a one-up. That's a really cool card. Yep. That card is green and X, and what it does is it taps for X. It taps that many creatures. And if they're flying, it also does two damage to them. So that's another way I'm going to try to get everything tapped so the creatures become unblockable that way. Yeah. Um, and then we have Serpent Generator, which for four mana, six to cast and four mana, we can make a poison, uh, an artifact token that's a 1-1. One, one. Uh, doesn't have flying, I like the hive, but that will give a poison counter. Mm -hmm. And um, so, and Meek Stone. So, how many is that? Oh, and uh, I don't think we have a Void Fate before. A uh, Tavnos Wand is missing. Oh, Thanos Wand, which is another cool card. So there's a lot of... And these cards, if they weren't going to appear in this deck... I'm not sure when when we would get them to appear. Um, so it should be should be cool, should be interesting. Um, my sideboard has a lot of cards that are just generally good because if I'm playing against either weenie decks or decks that don't have creatures, I want to be able to put some generically good cards. So like ice storms or more crumbles. Avoid face I thought was important. I, there's only eight poison creatures, like there's only eight elephants in old school. So yep. if I'm facing a deck that has a lot of removal, I think it's good to be able to give some protection to them. But that's basically I, the idea. I will say that I think I'm the, a very big underdog. I'd say very big. I think that trying to win with poison counters may be the hardest, one of the hardest things to do in old school. I would count as a quote-unquote win if I lose every game but one game I can, I can get you to 10 poison counters. I would say that was a huge success. So that's my goal, and uh, I think we should go to the Brewer's Tavern Battleground and see what happens. Yeah, let's do that. But to be fair, after I saw your list, it feels for me it feels like the same. I'm happy when I win one round because your list looks super, super solid. Well, you know, it's as good as we think we, you know, it can be. I mean, I'm not sure, and also it feels very poisony, if that makes sense. It's yeah. not like I'm playing the deck, but the win con is Serpent Generator. Like, yeah. okay, you know, that doesn't really seem very poisony. This La seems to go with the with the flavor of what, what we're trying to do here. Yeah. And I'm um, super, it's certainly, I've never played it before. I've never played against elephants. Um, the elephant graveyards are going to be super annoying, I think. Um, and we'll have well, to see what happens. Yeah, perfect. So let's move on to the battleground and play some rounds of magic. And here we are. Um, to be fair, I feel I feel you when you say you don't want to see uh, the deck with another win option. For me, every deck which runs all the restricted cards plus swords, disenchants, and counter spells is just the deck, and it doesn't matter how you win. It doesn't matter. Um, it's I'm, it's not if you play the deck, but you put the hive in instead of fireball or serene. It's it's not interesting. No, it's, it's still not. Just and, the deck. and it's basically just the same deck. It just doesn't matter how you kill people. It's just so my my question with your deck is going to be: you have ten colorless mana sources for lands, and I want to know if you're going to have a problem getting your colors. That's my and I don't yeah, know the, the answer. The, to be fair, the the mana base was for this kind of deck super super tricky to build. So I'm also uh, super um, I don't know the the English word now. I I want to see if it if I can make it happen, but I think it is okay as long as I have one colored source because I um, do not run cards which cost double beside uh, Brain Gazer and Mana Drain. That's why I play a lot of blue. And of course, Nial Sylvain for triple green and drip and four mana to regenerate, which was probably a mistake to put in this deck, but we will see. It's okay. Spicy sideboard cards, okay. Uh, pile two. Pile two for, you me, wanna for me as well. I roll the die. You're even as always. You said pile two? Yeah, pile two. Yep, even. Uh, number one. Right. So I start. Oh no. 
I needed to win it today. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm. I keep that, I would say. Or do I keep that? Give me a second. No, I mulligan that. To be fair, I I have never played uh, elephants before, but I think this is a no keep. Or is it a, would it be a keep? Write your uh, opinion in the comments. I don't think that I can keep that. All right. I think I'm going to keep just because I think every hand is going to be bad. Maybe, but I'm not really sure. Maybe I should, yeah. have run, uh, should have run City of Brass instead of uh, normal dual lands, but who knows? <laughs> Maybe out there there is a super good elephant player and he, he would be like, how can I not keep you know this what? hand? I'm gonna mull too. Okay. I'm gonna mull too. I mean, I just think playing a turn four uh, I see or four maybe we need to live with the fact that we are playing turn four. So th four turns land, and then we start playing magic. Well, that's that's why this is a good match because my creatures and your creatures are equally slow. You're keeping that one. I wish I could say no, but I will not go to five. All right, one, two, three. Oh, sorry, I didn't cut my. It's good. It's, it's good. Just keep it. Keep it. Uh, number two. I I tried to cut myself, so. That's good. I would love to draw new cards. <laughs> okay, we're going to keep this one. Um. See what I'm going to put on the bottom. Um, give me one second. Sorry. No problem. It's, Take your time. There's so few resources with a deck like this. Um, okay. We'll have to put this on the bottom. All right. Pass turn. Huh? Play a stick in your turn. Attack you for two. Okay. Pass turn. Land for turn. Yeah. Emerald. Yeah. A tutor. Yeah. I'll play ancestral. Okay. Six cards. Uh, I try to disenchant your mocks and pass the turn. Okay. Mox is gone. Play land. Yep. Play solar. Yes. Play regrowth. Targeting yep. ancestral. Yes. No, it feels like a poison deck, right? Yeah, feels like just a random bug good stuff deck. Uh, sorry, blue, See? black, green. Yeah. Well, set, having it set, uh, having tutor and uh, regrowth is pretty good. Yeah. One, two, three. Um. The mox and pass. Blue mox and attack you for two. Sorry, like this. Yeah. And pass the turn. Play a land for turn. Yep. Mox jet. Yep. Keep, keep your hand up a little bit. Oh, 
sorry about that. Yeah, uh, no problem. I just saw the mocks and I thought you want to drop it. That's why I didn't say anything. But yeah, I see school. Yeah, Orp is good as well. Um, oh, pass turn. Okay. Your upkeep, I'm going to tap your factory. For two, I try to disenchant your IC. Okay. How many cards do you have? Uh, four. Okay. Draw, uh, pass the turn. For the 13. I will take out your factory. Okay. Plan? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Nicely. Cool. Yeah. Play on Marsh Viper. Yes. So turn in your upkeep, I'll tap your white and go to 12. Uh, I, with the white mana in my pool, I support the Viper. Draw. Okay, go to 13. Yeah, yeah, I found a land drop and play Sylvan Library. Pass turn. Now yep. this one. Uh, pass turn and your upkeep. I'll tap your tropical. Okay. Uh, trigger, I go down to 12. Ancestor and myself. Ha! One, two, three, play a land. Now we're talking, sir. Chaos Orb, pass turn. <laughs> Elephants are stumping, bro. <laughs> pass turn, turn. I'll yeah. tap your drop. Drop key. Oh, you, you pass the turn? Okay, uh, with the mana in my pool, I destroy your IC. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. Oh Lord, why are you doing that to me? Felvar Stone, uh, pass turn. Be in your turn. So my turn. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like this. Elephant Graveyard, and I try to play War Elephant. Pass turn. Pass turn. Ha. Play a War Elephant. Ten. And pass the turn. Meek stone. Try to mana drain the meek stone. Okay. Oh, it's only one. Uh, sure, your turn. Uh, I have one colorless. Three, four, one elephant. For six. Four. And Psy blast you. Again. Okay. Aggressive elephants. Mwah. I I really thought I lose that one. Because I bricked so long on two mana. Yeah, but once you had Sullivan and God Ancestral too, you got right back there. Yeah. Because if if I have the same number of cards, I should lose. Probably yes. Even if I have extra, I'm still probably losing. We'll see. All right, I'll be on the play. Good game. Yes. Thank you very much. Good game as well. From your side, the, the elephants did their job. <laughs> I mean, it, it is, to be fair, for all the viewers, Charles forced me to buy the, the elephant graveyard because he said, you love tribal decks, so there is no chance that you can live without elephant graveyard. So I was like, but you, have to get, you have to get that one, right? Yeah, exactly. I, I needed to buy them. There was no chance for me. I mean, look at it. You're beating down my poison deck so far. We should play a bunch of game ones. This is going to be quick. Yeah, exactly. 
I would I would say like two or three game ones and let's let's do three game ones and like three game twos. Um, pile one. Yep, pile one for you as well. Okay. All right. I have the play. You should now be worried. Oh yes, seven cards. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. I, I have four mana. I'm I'm all good. Even if I would probably also keep a hand with all mana. Like, because <laughs> that mana base in this deck is so, so, so bad. I swear to God. I'm, I, I sat there and was like, oh, oh Lord, I need nine blue sources. How? <laughs> keeping. Are you keeping? Yeah, keeping as well. Meek Stone is a good card. Sure. The same start. S exact same start. Pass turn. That really the same start. I I mean I only play the on color Moxon because you know it's there's no space in the deck. You really, I think if you want to make elephants happen, you need, uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, wait, don't say anything. Ancestral targeting you. Oh, uh, we're going to time twister. One float and go to 19. No, why, why? My hand was so strong. Yeah, I was just hoping like you dumped as many permanents as me. So it was not as, a little bit more unfortunate. Look at this pure strange with, with uh, strength, with with war mammut and time walk, I mean it will not untap. But anyways, it's like when you had when you had mock soul ring and then you had Sullivan. That's the meek stone equivalent. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> it's like time twistering. I don't even get a real advantage, but I, it's the best play anyway. Yeah. When when I played my last real life tournament, I had in hand mode ter uh, mode. Mox, uh, Mox, Mox, land, 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 whatsoever. And I thought, okay, I play against the aggressive red, blue, green deck. As long as I can assemble the mode early, I'm fine. And in my head, it was like, okay, I play Mox, Mox, land, land, mode, turn one. And my opponent was like, did you really play two lands, turn one? I was like, in my head, this makes completely sense. Leave it how it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I'm going to play a Yep. Pearl. I'm gonna play a stick. Yes. And five cards. Your turn. One, two, three. Uh, hmm. Interesting. You stole all my pressure. Two, four, six, seven. Uh, draw. Two, four, six, eight, seven cards, and pass the turn. <sighs> I have clone. You know what my goal is for today? I kill you with poison counter. Okay. Goal for today. Tutor. That's five. Flowing. Seven cards, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, four four. So one float. So one one black. Well, first I go to seventeen. Yeah. Uh, so one black, one colorless. One two three four for five. Four five. So one seven. Um, actually, I have, hold on a second. I have a, I have a stick. So I will. Second. Let me let me just finish off one. Yeah. yeah I can take your one. Neck I can take, take one. I can take one less damage. So let me do that. Yeah. So. You have one colorless, one, color, one colorless, black. There's a black. Yep. Well, it's not. It's not going to help. It's, it's not. It doesn't help. Okay. Okay. So I'm at seventeen and black four, five. one, two, five. three, four, five. Yep. yep. Um, let's do it like that. I first roll for one to six. So the seventh card is out. Is that okay? Because I have seven cards in hand, or just tell me a card which I remove first. I it doesn't. It doesn't matter. It's all whatever. Okay, you want I will to do. take this one first. 
it's a disenchant and then one six so four cards i will roll twice and uh, i will keep the two rolled cards number two number four one two three four okay so you hit balance tropical brain gazer and tundra okay uh it's your turn three cards uh, uh i go to 12. Mm -hmm. Felvar Stone, and I try to play Regrove on Brain Geyser. Uh, give me a second. Should I draw or wait a turn? Mm. Did you play Regrove yet? No. Do you have Regrove in your hand? Well, listen, this, this is where if you want to be greedy, you should wait. And see what happens. Okay, I'm greedy. Fuck it. Okay. Oh, I said fuck on stream. I'm sorry. Pass turn. I don't know if Blink that it. helps, but probably no ch uh, no children will will watch our stream. Hopefully. Come on, no regrowth, no regrowth, no regrowth. No regrowth. Fine. Scorpion? Yep. Sorry, and I'll go to 16. I'll tap your Black Lotus. Yes, that was the right choice. Uh, look at the top three. And you still get your hand back, so... Yeah, that's true. Uh, I draw a land, play a land, and then I try to play Brain Guys here for everything. One, two, three, four, five, six. For six. Three, six, and I pass the turn. Two, four, six, eight. I need to discard. I discard one Nivenral's disc, and it's your turn. Yeah, swing in. So I get one poison. Do I also get damage? Yeah, you're at 11. Oh, Lord. And, uh, yes, sir. Untap. You want to tap something? Yeah, let's uh, let's tap your uh, let's tap your factory. Yep. Uh, I checked the top three. Um, play a strip mine. Play ancestral on me. It's too good. Can't, can't, can't beat that. Uh, oh, I played a strip mine as a land. That was probably a mistake. Uh, anyways, for four, I play a disc. Mm -hmm. And then I, oh, I need to think. Crack this one for white. Play a war mammoth like this. Uh, still one white floating. Two, four, two, four, six, seven. And I draw and pass the turn. Got brain geyser, ancestral, and library. Yes. Too good. Uh, sorry, I need to discard. I discard Psionic Blast. Okay, we'll make the put Scorpion on yeah. unblockable and swing. Yes, so uh, you're counting my poison counters, right? You have two, and now you're at ten. Yeah. Uh, next turn. Um, you're up, keep all tap your disc. Mm, give me a second, need to think about that. Two, four, six, seven. I first draw a card in response. Then I try to. Do I want to let that resolve? 
Uh, you know what? Uh, well, it's it's resolving no matter what, even if you blow it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I mean, it, it wouldn't matter, right? Because if I'm tapping it, you blow it up, it I blow be gone. Disc. Okay. That's a good move. You get rid of a lot of cards. And you still have active library. Yeah, uh, yes, two, four, six, eight. Then I draw for the turn. Then I play a tropical island, uh, a tundra, sorry. Felvar stone and a war mammoth, a uh, war elephant, and pass the turn. Go to 14. Yep. Marsh Viper, your turn. Um, I strip your mace. Then I draw for the turn. Then I draw with the library. Hmm. Um. Party. And then I try to play a war mammoth. Uh, give me a second. When I do it like that. I play it like that. Pass turn. Um, pass turn. Uh, end of turn. I disenchant your IC. Okay. So no draws from the lip anymore. But I think it is okay. I activate my factory. Yep. And attack. Oh, block the elephant that does not have trample. Oh, they uh, both have trample? They all have trample. Right. You're, you're a factory. Okay. So you get. Oh, I take six. six. Yep. Uh, and then I play a clone and clone war elephant because he has just more abilities. Has turn. Game. Yeah. Yeah, the, the brain guys are ancestral libraries too too good for this deck. Yeah. But to to be fair, this this elephant, as long as you can reach four mana and slam an elephant every round, this is probably good. Be because then you just put enough pressure on your opponent. Three threes in old school magic are decent. Well, this deck is not the Swords to Plowshares bolt deck, right? I mean, yeah. if that were the deck, Elephants are going to have a very hard time for four mana for a 3-3. Three, three. But that's why we played this match. Exactly. Yep. I, also... um, I think we should play one more game one and then do, like, maybe three game twos. What do you yes. think? All right. Two or three game twos should be fine. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, I'll be on the play. That was uh, very good. Let's try another round on that one. Pile three. Okay, pile three for you as well. Okay. All right, I got two poison counters. So I got zero the first game and two the second. So a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, okay. I try. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try it. Uh, yes. Turn. Three silver ring pass. Okay, draw for the turn. Library draw. Emerald pass turn. Yeah. In your turn. I'm always afraid that this is like the uh, an early poison poison uh, poison creature and I'm like oh god oh god I'm in danger but then when you put down the four mana artifact I'm fine <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just can't pass this hand up you know to try to get poison creatures yeah uh, I draw two because I draw one yeah. in the upkeep and you know uh, drop 
Felvar 2467 uh, pass the turn. For two. Works. Sure. Um, I draw one from the lip and one for the turn. Play a factory. Uh, eight cards. Play mm -hmm. Lotus and a Chaos or six cards in hand. Pass turn. Play Maze? Yes. Scorpion and your turn. Uh, I draw for the turn. Then I draw with the library. Factory and Silver Library. Six cards in hand, pass the turn. I don't know if there is any color combination which is better than the um than what I run, blue, green, white, maybe there's a better version for this deck. If you viewers know that, please comment. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. sweet. For one, right? And I get one point. Pass turn. So six uh, draw. Doesn't really matter. Then I draw with the lip. Two, four, two, four, six, eight. Uh, I need to play that one. Uh, two, four, six, seven. I crack the lotus and for white and play war elephant. And then I pass the turn, six cards in hand. I'll play maze. Maces are good. I'm making a block both tonight. Uh, yes, so I take one damage. Yep, two counters and last turn. Uh, library. Draw. With the other library, two, four, six, eight. Uh, factory. It's unblockable anyways. I try to sword your guy exactly and then six cards in hand again I try to attack with three factories. Yeah, I'll maze two of them. So I pumped the other one two times. Okay. So and pass the turn. Oh, actually, the war elephant is only two two, not three three. Oh, it's a two two. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't know that. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, they're both three threes. Um, I, I also thought three. they are both three threes. I don't think that this. Oh. oh. I keep thinking this is two two to cast, but it's only one. I'll uh, play an icy. And. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Look how good this card is. It's not tapped by Meekstone, right? Yeah, yeah, no, it's good. Crazy, nice one. <laughs> but this, you know, this wasn't designed, you know, for your deck. You know, this was just saying. Like assume you have or you're playing against a creature based deck, a lot of yeah. them will be over too. So how do you how do you get in with little creatures if you're playing big big creatures? Exactly. Of and course I can there are only two of them, I can remove them you know, when we sideboard if, if I was playing a different deck. Yeah. One and one. Yeah, that's not that good against you. Eight cards. Play land. 
play War Elephant. Uh, and I think I passed the turn. Okay, I uh, will tap your uh, chaos. I uh, will tap your chaos or. In response, I activated in chaos or pure IC. No response, I'll crumble. Okay. Yeah, so you I go to twenty. Life. Uh, I go to eighteen. So you're at twenty, no? No, you attacked once with factory and twice with the. Okay, eighteen. Scorpion. Yes. Once with factory and twice with the scorpion, yep. so that's sixteen. Plus two is now you're, eighteen. Okay, yep, yep, yep. You're right. Okay, yep, eighteen. Um, okay. Royal. Royal is good. Uh, I guess we'll play it like this. Yep. And uh, S turn. Uh, six cards in hand, draw one, tap library, draw the other one, uh, eight cards in hand, play Felvar, uh, Sword the Royal Assassin, okay. six, six cards in hand, So those two band, okay. and I so, But before you go to attack, I'll yeah. tap one of your uh, elephants, I guess. Okay. So it's not banded anymore? I have no idea. Yeah, it doesn't really matter because you could just... I'll, and I'll maze uh, one elephant and one factory. Oh yeah, this one is tapped, this one is mazed. You maze the factory, I pump it twice. So I take uh, four. Yeah, the unblocked one and pass the turn. Probably I'm totally uh, playing wrong with Bend. Hopefully not, but you know. Last card. Yeah. Marsh Viper. And uh, your turn. Uh, let's see. Six. Look at the top three. Take this one. Oh, sorry, I need to draw first. Then I play a Elephant Graveyard, two, four, six, seven. Mm -hmm. I try to play disc. Mm -hmm. And pass the turn. It's your turn. Anyway, hold on. I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna attack and make this unblockable. Yeah, I take one damage, right? And you take two poison counters here at four. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, and I go to seventeen. Cool. Your turn. Untap, untap, untap. You want to tap something? Uh, we'll we'll. Tap a uh, tap a elephant. Okay, um, I will regenerate the untapped elephant. Mm -hmm. I will put three mana in my pool. Um, with one of the three mana, I pop the disc. Okay. So the untapped elephant survives, but is tapped, right? Because of regeneration, those are gone. With the mana in my pool, I activate two factories. Mm -hmm. Then I draw for the turn. Then I draw with library. Uh, then I play a war elephant. I pass the turn. Okay. Turn. Uh, 
two, four, six, seven, eight. Another elephant graveyard and try to uh, attack you for with four attackers. Okay, I'll activate factory. Yes. A block. Of, uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, because everything will probably regenerate. Um, I'll get rid of your two war elf. I'll make your two war elephants. Yeah. And uh, I'll just block the factory. Uh, okay, so we trade factories once, and you get two damage. And it's your turn. Oh, oh, I need to counter that. Okay. I have one colorless, but untapping maces is probably not what I want here. Yeah, no, you're going to draw more answers with library than I will with the regular turn. Um, your turn. Uh, two, four, six, seven, eight. I strip your uh, one mace. Mm -hmm. I copy a war elephant. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll scoop. I, I don't have a, a board. You have a library hand. It, this, yep. this game was over a long time ago. It's, it's just so much fun to see it. These uh, elephants. Good, and it, it good, still... good games. Yeah. So let's move on to the sideboard, right? Yeah. I, I'd say let's try to, since these match will not be played again, let's try to get three in if we can do it. Fun to get some yes. good content. Yeah. Give me a second. What do I need? Nope. Probably. To be fair, there's not a lot to board here. To, to be fair, I have no idea what I should board. I'm not really sure either. This definitely is coming in. I guess after boarding it will be better because you have city in a bottle and stuff like that, which helps. Yeah, you. bottle may be my only shot. You also can bring in tons of uh, bring in tons of uh, ways to deal with that. Yeah. That's true. Mm. I really need to pull one more card. I really don't know what it should be. No problem. Take your time. It's not easy to board a matchup. But I also don't want to board some of the spicier cards, the <laughs> Serpent Generator, which is bad. So, like, somebody's saying that card's really bad. Pull that one. But, like, no, I want to try to play it. I feel, yeah. At, at one point, you just want to win with Serpent Generator. 
Uh, do you need to tap Serpent Generator to produce a snake, or can you produce a you snake? You do. You, you do. Ah, oh, sad. Yeah. All right, we're just going to go with this. If you could produce as many tokens as you want per round, that would be great. It's just like the hive. Yeah. That's why you don't. With poison snakes, right? Yep. All right. I'll be on the play. You get yes. you got the poison deck pretty good game uh the game ones. To be fair, I I really don't know what to board. I have no idea. I'll take pile three. Just give this a good shuffle. No problem. All right, I have three more shots to try to get this dream win. I really hope you win once, or even to, I hope you win all the three rounds because I I want your goal fulfilled. Here, oh, just win with poison. I've never seen it done. Even in the nineties, I've never seen it done. Uh, one, two, or three. Uh, number three. The the big problem with those creatures is that they would be super strong if they would deal. Um, as much poison counters as they have strength, you know, uh, strength, you know what I mean? So if you giant growth, uh, for example, that one of the scorpions, it gets, uh, you get four poison counters. That would be amazing because then you can play berserk and all the stuff. So that would be pretty, pretty good. But this is a mount. Okay. Yeah. And the problem with those creatures is that it doesn't matter how many, uh, or how, how big the creature is, is it does only do like one or two poison counters, right? That's it. Uh, I tried it. But you couldn't have the creatures too big anyway, because if you the creatures got too big, then you're just going to win by killing your damage. opponent, you know, yeah. down to zero life. So you have to do very little damage just to try to... Number three on top. Win with the poison counters. Yeah. Because exactly. if, if you hit 10 times, that's 10 damage, right? So it couldn't even be a two power. They have to be one power or you wouldn't in that way. Yeah. I mean, that was something cool Wizards did. They fixed the poison mechanic with Infect. In the newer magic sets, that was okay. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to try it. That's really risky because I'm not going to go to five. All right, I'm really hoping to draw the land I need soon. Yes, sir, your turn. Pass turn. Let me, uh, don't look. Let me, let me show the viewers, like, what I kept. Yeah. You can say how I'll terrible, look, so don't look. look for one second. You will see like why I decided. Okay, you could you could look again. Okay. Taking a little bit of a chance. Okay. Your turn. Pass turn. Take it out. Yep. Turn. I, I really hoped you do that. I kept my colored mana in hand past turn. Just just to hope. Twist for two. Okay. Uh six cards, so one six. Number six. Number one. Tropical and balance. Okay, your turn. Pelvar, Sylvan Library. Okay, just for the viewers here, whatever you do, you need to play Felvar Stone in this deck. Otherwise, the mana base is unfixable. I swear to God. Yeah. And for two. Yeah. I go down to 10 directly and draw three. 
<laughs> yeah, that's good. Double graveyard. Uh, disenchant your city and pass the turn. Swing for three. Sport. Okay. Uh, look at the top three. Yeah, I take this one. Play graveyard. Play this. Oh, you can't. You can't play. Oh, yeah, you can now. Yep. Okay. Pass turn. Turn. One, two, three. Play graveyard. Play one mammut like this. Pass the turn. This is a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. I'm sorry that I... Yeah. This did not work out well. I did not draw another land needed. Uh, it's your turn. Mm, play a land and swing for three. Eleven. Pass turn. Hayes, on your turn. Huh. Attack. Yes. Okay, pass turn. Maze, uh, your turn. No, not double maze. Oh, oh. Play land, pass turn. Play land, pass turn. Um, Pitch nicely, your turn. Have any more land? Uh, one, two, three. Play a factory and pass the turn. Another ice, so your turn. Pass turn. God, this is crazy. Um, pitch a wand. Uh, draw Mox Pearl and pass the turn. Right. See. Oh, pass turn. All oh, ancestral in your upkeep. Yes. Um, I try to attack you. Two with two creatures? Yeah. Maze. Okay. Um, then I try to play a time walk. Okay. Uh, look at the top three. Okay, this is easier than try to ancestral myself. Mm -hmm. Draw three. Play a Felvar and try to attack you. Um. I'll maze the uh, elephant. Okay, so you take two. Nine. And I pass the turn. Library. Library school. Boring. Regrowth. Regrowth is fine. Yes, sir. One floor. Uh, 
Hydra in the Chaos Orb. Okay. Look at the top three. One, two, three. Here we go. Try to psi blast you. Yeah, five. Try to psi blast you. One. Try to psi blast you. I'm at negative three. Yeah. Oh lord. Good game. I was I was digging so bad for the psi blasts. I... Good. At, Good game. At, at the moment, I'm pretty unsure if this is not a kind of viable deck at some point. I don't know. What do you do against pink pink weenie? Nothing. You <laughs> just you just lose every game. It's a problem. Probably yes. Also, with the you're super slow. You can't deal with the the blood moons. You can't deal with lightning ball. You're right. It's it's just tough. It's, it's and and you have so much Arabian to begin with, with starting with four elephants and four graveyards and the library. So you're starting with nine cards. Yeah, exactly. So, it's, so it's, the, it's tough. the city in a bottle hits hard, right? Yep. But that's why we made this match just to see what the what the cards can do. Yep, exactly. Number one for me. Okay. Oh, uh, yesterday we also had a stream in in a group for um, from Christian Reinhardt, and we talked about brewing and stuff. And he, uh, I also talked a little bit about our project here, so it did kind of uh, kind of add for us, which is probably super nice. Um, well, uh... Number? Oh, number one. Sorry. Awesome. Yeah. I guess I guess I'm gonna try. Okay. You know if you're gonna keep. Keep. Yeah. It, it, this is a cool project. I mean, you have two guys who are just determined to document all of Swedish old school on video in match form. Um, it's a pretty cool thing. Um, okay. Yeah. I see. Mox and pass turn. Library. Past turn. God, I'm so in love with those Sylvan libraries. They they make every old school deck like five percent better. Past turn. One, two, three. Down to twelve. It's like playing free ancestrals more. Pass turn two, four, six, seven. First viper. Yep. Turn. Uh, I take this one. Soldering. Play land for the turn. Uh, the viper. Uh, what stats does the viper have? One, two, and he does two poison counters. One, two. So, elephant is blocking. Pass turn. Okay. Three cards, yeah? Five. Goes for three. Uh, yes. So, I, one, five, six is reroll. Number three. Uh, one, four, uh, five, six is reroll. Number four. Rest is dumped. Uh, sword, disc, sword. Okay, pass turn. Oh, sorry. Play a land for war, uh, war mammoth and attack you. I'll maze the elephant. Okay. The two two right? Yeah. I'm take two. Yeah. Pass turn. We'll terror your uh, green one. But 
it is so mighty how can one single card destroy such a beautiful and mighty animal okay that and can't regenerate anyway uh, a couple of sideboard cards which are decent um i'll play pit scorpion and uh return one card uh, i play war Mo uh, war elephant i try to attack amaze the elephant i'll take two Yes, pass turn. See. Ice is good. Pass turn. I need my bottle. Yes, you do. I hope you're not drawing it. Uh, mm, I try to attack. Yeah, as you go to attack, I'll tap one elephant. Then I attack with the two. Is uh, that guy the elephant? And I go to 14. So you maze the elephant? Then pass turn. Yeah. One. But I need that to icy, so can't even do anything yet. Next turn. Uh, how many cards do you have? One. Okay, pass turn. I strip your mace. Ouch. Then I want to attack. Uh, I'll tap an elephant. And then for four. My ten. Pass turn. No city in the bottle. No city. <laughs> Well, there's two of them in the deck from the sideboard. Fingers crossed. Oh. Drawing strip mine, I'm drawing the island and uh, nothing. Sylvan. Um, Sylvan return, yeah. Island. Unfortunately, I have to just, I'll tap your elephant in your upkeep, why not? Okay. More elephants. Oh, wow. That would be so sweet. Yeah, <laughs> bottle would be amazing. Uh, All right, I'm at six. Pass turn. All right, this I think is my last shot, and uh, it's not good. Uh, but it would be deserved just, if if you find the bottle now, here. Now I have to give up my creatures in order to stay alive, which is bad. Yeah. Even attack. Your turn. Oh, do they have trample? Uh, those? No. Oh, uh, yo, yo, yeah. Those trample as well. Oh, I mean, there are two, two trample bands for... Yeah, so, so I can stop three damage. Uh, they're two twos, right? Yeah, two twos. All right, yeah, so I can I can stop uh, three, yeah, three damage. So I'll still take three and yeah, barely be alive. Uh, I play land and you... All I right, guess... I'll, I'll, tap an, I'll tap an elephant. Yeah. I'll... Uh, you're, you're banning them? No, I don't. Okay, I, I'll, one, one will each block each. The two power is fine with the two power. There's a one, uh, I'm sorry, two toughness. Oh, There's yeah. a one toughness, so I take one and I take three. Yes, so I'm at three. pass turn. I don't want to ban them because I don't know how the me mechanic actually works. And yeah. And Icy is not enough. Good game. The, yeah. <laughs> But as I said, right. it, it would be deserved if you just drew the the um, the city in the bottle because that is why you boarded it in and that, this is probably also a problem of the deck if you play against decks which run city in the bottle which are way more solid than what I have here. Um, they kill nine of your cards on the spot for two colorless mana. Last round. All right. Yeah, one more shot, one more game, and then we'll do the sideboard. I hope the people will love this uh, this matchup, even if the... I know. I know everyone's rooting for a poison deck. No one wants to see the poison deck lose 0-6. to six. I, I, I can board out the elephants. No, just kidding. I mean, the, 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 um, the, the fact that we're playing such fun decks, I hope really people appreciate, appreciate that. Well, they're not going to see these two decks for sure. I mean, yeah, I mean, just this not, is uh, something you never see on a tournament. Never. Maybe if you play test in an old school league or something like that, where someone try, 
tries to be <laughs> funny or so to, to run that. Oh, sorry. Uh, number one on top. Okay, number two for you. Oh, uh, yes, so like this. It's a cool uh, thing for us to do for episode 20. Yeah. Uh, I try. All right. Uh, hope something good. To be fair, if you draw a lot of soul rings in this deck, it's also super nice for you because, I mean, the soul ring helps you to cast elephant turn two. It's way, way too slow. Yeah, but I, would have, in the I would have kept it, to be fair. <laughs> Uh, I, I just don't think grabbing a card on the second turn. What do I grab? Ancestral, Ancestral on, the, on turn three? Yes. I don't think that's going to be good enough. Or a city in a bottle for turn four, uh, for turn three. You play land, candelabra, turn two demonic, turn three city in a bottle. But if I see any mistress factories or the war mammoths, I'm just totally screwed. Uh, you have one terror, which is not good against the factory, but against the war mammoth. So you're not... I'm going to take a chance. Okay, number two. Three, four, five, six. Okay, we will keep this and put one on the bottom. Okay, it's your turn. Pass turn. Okay. Yep. Turn. Six cards. Draw. Play a land. Draw my mode. Pass turn. Okay. Seven cards draw. Yes. Six cards, your turn. One moment. Oh, here, if I can almost see your hand. Oh, sorry. Okay. And pass the turn. Card strong. Mm -hmm. Maze. Yes. And pass turn, seven cards. End of turn. Try to draw. Inside bore that one out. I thought you wanted to give me a shot. Uh, I didn't. I I offered to board out the, the the mammoths and the elephants. I'll tell you which fifteen cards to take out, and oh. I can win. <laughs> uh, land and yeah, land and mox. War elephant and try to attack you. Maze both. Uh, and I'll take the two damage from the factor. Yeah. Ding. And pass the turn. Play land. Mm -hmm. Cards draw. Mm -hmm. Lotus. Play Icy. Yes. Six cards, pass turn. Draw. Play a land. Uh, then I try to attack you with everything. Okay. I'll take two damage from the factory. Go with uh, four. In total, you take four. Oh, you have four. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um. So you're at 12, right? 11, I think. Uh, 11, okay. Uh, Sylvan Library, pass turn. One card. Draw. Mox? Yes. We'll tap your Tundra. End of uh, in my upkeep? Oh, right now, in my first main. Uh, I will side blast you. Go to 18. 7. 
Last time walk. Yes. Six cards. Wrong. To, to be fair, cards, I yeah. did not regret to buy the elephant graveyard. Not because I'm winning the games, it's just you're right. The, met, the elephants are fun. Like, I'm yeah, you smiling got... all the time. Whenever I can cast a four mana elephant, I'm smiling. Like, Mija, you, you got off easy when I introduced uh, my tabernacle uh, deck on All Things Considered. Do you know how many people uh, I convinced to buy tabernacles? I have. That's, no... that's, that's, that's expensive. That's that easy true. with elephant graveyards. Yeah. Um, how, grave. how many cards do you have? Uh, two. A second to think here. The cards draw. Land for turn. Yes. Just can't use. Terror, one of your um, mammoths. Yes. And now you still you have three creatures. That's fine. Um, last turn. Your upkeep, I'll. Tap your uh, oven. War Mammoth. Yes. Trigger. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to tap your uh, Mishra's instead. Okay. Your Mishra's. So I bless you. At three. So I bless you. Good game. <laughs> you, you won. Yeah. Uh, so let's. Go to the sideboard. I'm really, really sorry that you did not steal one poison wind from me. Not just that. I never got by four counters. It is not pot. What I would say to the viewers is, is there a list that you can build that could do better against this particular elephant graveyard deck? Of course, I didn't know what Major was going to play up until a few minutes before, but I just knew he knew I was playing poison and I knew he was playing elephant. What could what could you have built? Yeah, that would be nice. So whenever you think you have a better version of a deck than we are running on stream, please comment or send us a list on Facebook, Instagram, something like that, because we're super, super happy to discuss with you guys deck lists. That would be great. Well, congratulations. Elephants did great. Elephants were elephant-tastic at that, round. that is true. And not too many times we're going to have one of us going uh, without a single win. Yeah. Um, to be fair, I didn't bought a single card. Oh, you, you kept your deck as is. Yes. It was so good, there was no reason to make a change. It, I After the first three rounds, I just felt, okay, every card is super useful, even if you bring in City in a Bottle. Uh, I sh I could have gone for a uh, divine offering to get rid of the uh, the city in a bottle, but then I thought, okay, what? Why am I afraid? I have four decent chance. I have a counter spell. I only run one mana drain. Um, I'm fine. Um, to be fair, the second deck plan is just psy blast you four times and deal the f other four damage somehow. <laughs> This is well, I, I'm a little bit heavier on lands just because I have a lot of high casting cost creatures, so I didn't want to get stuck missing the fourth mana. So I did take that out because um, you should be about as slow. Um, Winter Blast is a card. If I actually can get the deck going, this would be great, but there's, it's just never going to happen. I would have loved to have make my creatures unblockable or you know tokens yeah. unblockable to tap all of your creatures and then to swing and get poison counters that did not work all right meek stone is not actually great against your particular deck it won't be great against a lot of decks 
uh, because half your elephants have yep. two power instead of three. Um, and the crumbles, I took both of them out. Um, you, you do have disc, which is not good, but I don't think there's anything else. So, and I needed to try to be more aggressive with removing some of your creatures, which uh, this should work even with, a, you know, yep. it goes against your regeneration strategy. I only have eight, there's only eight poison creatures and you have plenty of removal for them between oh. swords and side blasts. So I thought bringing in Avoid Fates made sense, and of course Bottle is a great card. And Probably would... for the next time when, I mean it will take a long time till we reach Elephants and Poison Counters again, but probably you should also run Clone, at least two, to get a critical Maybe. creature amount. Maybe, that should be true. Yeah, so join us in episode 523 for this rematch. Right, or, or maybe 5,003, who, can, who knows? 5,003. Join <laughs> us when we're 80 years old and when we finally run out of decks to play. Um, then, then, you will yeah, probably, the, then you will see clones, but maybe clone is a good su suggestion here. Yeah, I think that that's a reasonable suggestion. Um, I don't think it would have made a difference in this case. No. Um, poison is so hard. It's so hard to win with the 10 counters. Yeah. Um, my other uh, dream win in old school would be to you. Uh, poison counters would be number one. Number two on the list would be with a dingus egg. And I, at some point, I will have to try to do that. I probably will fail, but that would be the second dream win in old school. So I'll yeah, have to that try would that be one. great. That would be super great. Okay. So anyway, I was super excited for this match. I've never seen Elvins played, or I haven't played it, and same with the Poison deck. Um, at least I swung in for a couple of counters. Um, this was super special, super fun. And viewers, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, make sure you subscribe. Yeah, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you liked what you see, and thank you very much that you t uh, tuned in, and thank you. Bye-bye. See you next episode. See you for episode number 21. 21. <laughs> Bye. For now. Bye.